Hi, on this video I'm going to show you how to connect a motion sensor to your DVR or MBR. So you can make the DVR send out emails when the motion is triggered or send a signal to your alarm or even make beeping on the DVR or show you the camera in full screen. So now let's begin. This is a standard motion sensor. First, we're going to open it up. On this motion sensor, you're gonna have to look for where the alarm output it is. On this specific case, it's right here. So we will connect two cables into the alarm out. Let's do that. It's right here. There is no order because these are the connections normally open or normally close. Normally open means the two cables are not connected to each other. So when the motion sensor is triggered, it pretty much makes them touch. Now, normally close means that the cables are always touching and when the motion sensor is triggered, it opens up the connection. So those settings, you can find it under your motion sensor under the dip switches. So now let's connect the cables. Once I have my two cables connected, the other two cables I am going to connect it to the back of the DVR or MBR on the alarm inputs. Let's go ahead and do that. Now on the back of my DVR or MBR, I'm going to look for the alarm inputs. For example, I got four alarm inputs, one through four, and I also have an alarm output. So now I'm going to get one of the cables from the sensor to connect it into the al alarm number one and the other one into the ground. So it will look something like this once you connect it into the terminals. As you guys can see, I have one of the cables into the alarm one and also into the ground. And then the two cables from the sensor of the alarm output. Now let's configure the steps that you need to do on the DVR or MBR interface to activate the motion sensor. Now in your DVR or MBR, in order for us to set up the sensor, we click under the menu then we select settings once the menu comes up we will select the alarm menu then click on sensor alarm under the sensor alarm we connected our sensor into the number one the type is normally open we are going ahead and enable it and here we can choose the actions once the sensor is triggered so I will tell the DVR to record camera number one. Also, I want to take a snapshot of camera number two. Then if I have a house alarm, I can connect the alarm into my DVR. If the sensor gets triggered, my house alarm will also get activated. In this case, I don't have one, but if I had one, I will select alarm out. If I had a PTZ camera and I had presets on the PTZ, I can select the camera to go into the select preset I had on the camera if the sensor gets triggered. In this case, I don't have one, so I select cancel. I want the DVR to beep when the sensor gets activated, so I'm going to select on. I also want the camera to pop up in full screen, so I can select the camera that I want. For this case, I'm going to select camera number 2. Then I also want a warning message on the system. If I set up my email alerts, I can also tell the DVR to send me an email 
when the sensor gets triggered. In this case, I haven't set that one up, so I select off. Once I click apply, and I exit the menu, now the sensor is ready to do its job. If someone passes by or walks by the sensor, it will trigger the alarm. This will be an example how the alarm will get triggered. Somebody is walking by, and then the sensor gets triggered, and this is what you will get in your DVR or MBR. And that's how you set up a sensor on your DVR or MBR. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, visit our website, easterncctv.com. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, share, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.